Hi there guys how are you doing this is your friend and tutor Manas and guys uh, we'll be continuing with our discussion on involutes and this time around we'll be keeping a track of the endpoints of a rod rolling over a semicircle let's see what the problem has in store here we go trace the paths of the ends of a rod pq 85 mm long when it rolls without slipping on a semicircle having its diameter as 50 mm long assume the rod pq to be tangent to the semicircle in the starting position all right so we have to trace the end points of a rod whose length has been given to us as 85 mm long now there is this semicircle whose diameter has been given to us as 50 mm now if you try to work out the circumference all right of the semicircle it's going to work out as pi d over 2 it's and it's going to be equal to 78.5 just put the value and get the answer now let's see what the construction has so we have a center point okay let's say the center point and we have a line now this also represents the diameter of the semicircle now with this as center and with this much as the radii i'm going to draw a semicircle semicircle is having a radii of 25 since its diameter is 50 millimeters now if you've seen my previous lectures i used to do eight parts for a circle and now since this is a semicircle we're going to be doing four parts let's do initially two parts two can be made four that's it let's say this point is one this is two this is three and let's say this is four initially we have to place the rod pq tangentially so somewhere along this point we're going to be putting this rod tangentially and this initial length is going to be equivalent to the circle circumference that is 78.5 all right from this all right so initially what we're going to be doing we'll be dividing this whole line 78.5 long line into four equal parts and for that i'll be drawing a line at any suitable angle and of any suitable length that's it now with one centimeter radii arcs i'll be putting them with this as the center to start off then with this as the center keep on doing so keep on doing so so these are the four arcs let's join the fourth arc with the end of this line like this keep your drafters over here okay tighten the screw bring it to the third point draw a line second point draw a line first point draw a line you can clearly see that this line gets divided into four equal parts so let's say this is one dash two dash three dash and four dash and finally now we can see and we can place point q which is going to be slightly ahead slightly above this point four dash somewhere here let me show you where okay so the distance between this point and this point is going to be 85 that's point q so this is the rod which has been kept tangentially at the start now when this rod starts to roll what will happen let's see this point one dash will come into contact with this point on the circumference of this semicircle all right and you'll see that some portion of this rod will be over here from one dash to p some portion will be here and remaining portion that is from one dash to q dash q will be over here in a tangential sort of a way all right similarly when this two dash and two come into contact you will see that the, this portion that is from two dash to p will be over here and the remaining portion two dash to q will be over somewhere here what i'm trying to say is whenever these points come into contact all right whenever these points tend to come into contact it would appear as if the rod is held tangentially with respect to this semicircle all right so and we need to draw tangents from points one two three and four something like this from one two three and finally from four fine now let's say one dash and one have come into contact yeah all right so one dash to p with one as the center and with one dash p as the radius you need to put an arc over here that's it this is going to be point p1 similarly with one dash q as the radius okay keep one leg of your compass here at one dash other leg at q okay and with one as the center you need to put an arc here again this is going to be what you call point q1 fine let's move ahead and let's say that the rod rolled further and it became absolutely horizontal something like this then this two dash will come into contact with this two over here okay now with two dash p as the radius and with two as the center you need to put an arc here this is going to be point p2 and with two dash q as the radii and with two as the center you need to put an arc yet again this is going to be what you call point q2 that's it so rolling went on and finally we've reached over here now with three dash p as the radius and with three as the center we'll, we're going to put an arc here again this is going to be point p3 now with three dash q as the radius and with three as the center let's put an arc here again this is point q3 finally four dash p as the radius four as the center let's put an arc here again and this is going to be point p4 and with 4 dash q as the radius very small amount minute 4 as the center let's put an arc yet again this is going to be point q4 now guys these are all the track points okay this is point 
P initially, okay, when this was held tangentially, this is point P1, to P2, P3, P4, and when you join all these points with the help of a smooth curve, you're gonna have an involute. That's it. So the this is the basically the track point of the NP, and this is the track point of NQ. And let's see what we get by joining all these points of Q. We get this. All right. That's it, guys. So that was all from my side guys if you have any doubts or queries do write them down in the comment section below i'll be very happy to answer them in the best possible way and as far as this particular problem is concerned guys i would strongly recommend you all to do the construction on a drawing sheet or on a plain piece of paper as soon as possible after you watch this video or parallelly watching this video you can also do so and guys if you've got a problem or based on invalids which you think is slightly difficult or should be discussed do post it in the comment section i'll try to solve it i'll try to make a construction i'll try to do an animation on that until then it's a wrap for today this is manas patnaik signing off take care have a great day and keep drawing